Welcome back for another World of Warships episode. This episode covers your torpedo spreads and which are good spreads and which are bad spreads. I'll also touch on the type of spread to use against the type of ship. The demonstration ship is an Isla Slav, which is a Tier 4 Russian destroyer. It has three sets of torpedoes on it. Up pops a Tier 3 St. Louis class cruiser. It'll take approximately two to three torpedoes to sink the cruiser. He is partially damaged. The destroyer has dumped all three of his torpedoes in a very small target area, which is not what he should have done. The current coverage area on these three sets of torpedoes is going to be really not much wider than one spread. They should have either been separated out or fired in succession. Against slightly armored targets, there's really no reason to put six, seven torps in one target area because one or two is going to kill them. Since the destroyer didn't save any of his salvos of torpedoes, now he's got to drive around the backside. This will be an example of kind of a chain salvo where you get much more coverage of area. This double salvo will cover about three times as much space as the prior triple salvo. Against a cruiser like that, you really only need to clip them with a couple of torpedoes and they'll go down. Right off the bow now is a Tier 4 Wyoming battleship. Obviously the battleship has a lot more armor and a lot more hit points. The downside for the battleship is he does not maneuver nearly as well as the cruisers do. So you can take advantage now of more pinpoint torpedo spread stacking torpedoes on top of each other. The single salvo sent was essentially to force a turn back from the battleship. The battleship does not appear to be turning away from the first set of torpedoes. So the second set was just fired solo. If he's not going to move, he's going to eat another set. And a third set is available if this doesn't take him down. And it does. All the torpedo spreads you've seen here were the thin spread where the torpedoes are very close together. If you want to change to a wide spread, you hit your three key and you get a much wider pattern, but there are much larger gaps in your torpedo spread. I tend to shy away from the widespread because there's enough room that most competent ship captains can basically weave in between the gaps or only eat one torpedo. A devious tactic that you can do is fire a widespread to start with, come down to a smaller spread and plug the gaps in that widespread because that captain will try and change to avoid your first spread and he's basically turning into one of your thin spreads. You'll get a lot of shots that way. That can be a tough thing to pull off though. A tight spread has been fired at the remaining battleship at fairly long range. Only one spreads out, so there's still two more available if these don't strike. Resist the temptation when you see that nice juicy target to unload more torpedoes than it'll take to kill the target. Avoid what you saw in that first spread of targeting all your torpedoes on a single point, and don't be afraid to get in there close. You'll take a little damage, but your torpedoes will make them pay. Good luck on the battlefield, and don't suck.